Hello, you are welcome back. So let's continue with the design of our interfaces. And we are going to start with the design of the main interface. Now, so this is our interface and this is our design view. This is the source view where we have our code. Now, the first thing we want to do is to centralize our application because by the time let's look at the preview, Preview is centralized, but the main application by the time we run it is not centralized. You can see that it will appear at the top upper corner of the interface. So to centralize it, we'll go to our constructor. This is our constructor. So don't forget the function of a constructor. Constructor is used for initialization. So anytime this particular interface is initialized, we want the location to be set to central does not so we say set location relative to relative to null just put null in the bracket here so let us run the application again you can see that it is now centralized so the next thing we want to do is to give our interface a title so that anytime this interface face is brought up there will be a tie to here so let's close it we come to the design view then we come to our properties we'll see the title right up here now this is the title just click this then you can give it any title you like let's give it banking application click on ok let's run again and you will see that the title will have been uh, changed here. We we'll have banking application as a title now. The next thing we want to do is that we don't want this particular interface to be resizable. You can see now if you click on the maximize button, it's going to be resized. Then click on it again, it will decrease the size. So we don't want this particular interface to be maximizable or we don't want the size to change. So what we'll just do is that we'll come to resizable property then you can see that this recycle same property is checked is clicked so we'll check it then we'll run the application again and if you come here you can see that it is non resizable now the next thing we want to do is to start with the design of the interface we want to add our menu bar this is what we call the menu bar the menu bar is what contains the menu. These are menu help, window tools, team, profile. They are all called menu. And if you click on each one, they have what we call menu item. Menu item. It is only this one that it is that is menu, which can contain other menu. But all other ones here are called menu because they cannot, they don't have submenu or menu item. So once again, we want to add our toolbar. This is our toolbar that contains different menu. So to add it, we come to our palette. We come to menu bar. Okay, this menu bar. So just add your menu bar. Now we have to change the name of this, the menu item. This are menu item one. The edit is also another menu item on this menu bar. So we have file by default. We always have file menu in our menu bar. So, but we want to add other menu. Once this file is clicked, there should be other menu item that will appear under the file. So we'll right click this, come to add from palette. We want to add our menu item. Let's add another one, add menu item. So the first one, let's name the first one login. Let's name the second one exit. Now you can see that there is space for shortcuts, which means there should be shortcuts in case anybody wants to just use the shortcut instead of coming here and clicking login or exit. You can just say Ctrl L for login, Ctrl E for exit. So just double click this, then you can place your cursor here and press the keyboard. Press any combination of your keyboard that you want to put as shortcut so i want ctrl l 
So click on Control plus L. You can see that it has appeared. You click on OK. Then you have Control L as shortcut there. You click on Exit. I want Control E to be my shortcut. I'll press Control E on the keyboard. Then I'll click on OK. Now we are done with File menu. Let's come to Edit menu. We don't want the Edit menu. We want Bank Operations to be here. Let's change the name to Bank Operations operations now under this we want to have different menu item just right click say add from palette menu item i i think we need about uh, three menu item add from palette menu item add from palette menu item so the first one we can name it rename it can give it any name you like based on the operations. We can say withdrawal. I don't want any shortcuts, so you don't need to fill the shortcuts. We want uh, deposit. I want registration to be here. So I'm done with this. Now I need another menu on this menu bar. And the name of the menu I need is my history to display the history of the data entered into the database by each of the interfaces. So I can right click this menu bar. I'll say what? Add menu. So you right click, how to edit the text. Let me give it a history. History. Press enter now on that history there will be other menu items so i'll right click again add from palette menu item i think i need four add from palette menu item add from palette menu item add from palette menu item so here i can edit now I can say register to customer. So we'll display the registered customer, those that have registered. Registered customer. I don't want any shortcuts. Then come come here, right click and edit. You can say login details. So information about those people that, that log in. I can log in into my application. Login details. Press enter. So come here. I want this to be withdrawal details. Withdrawal. Withdrawal details. And I want this to be right click edit text i want this to be deposit details sorry press enter so that's a summary of how to design the menu bar now the next thing we want to do is to add separator between each of these menu items so that it can look neater. For example, if you come here to the NetBeans interface, this is a separator. This line, very tiny line, that's another separator. This is another separator. So if you like, we can add separator to each of our, our menu item. So let me add separator between login and exit. I'll come to palette, double click separator, then you bring it right here. You can see. Come to operations, come to palette, separator, right here, separator, double click, right here. Now here, I'm going to use a shortcut here now, instead of coming here to choose my separator, I can just hold on the shift key and I'll be dropping the separator where I want to drop them. So let me OD, let me just double click first. Double click the shift the, the separator. Oh the shift key I've, I've held it now. You bring it here one, 
two, three, go. So you can see that I've added my separator. So let us run the application now and see how it looks like. Very beautiful. You can see we have file. You can see the separator appearing between login and exit. We have with withdrawal, deposit, and registration. We have registered customer, login details, withdrawal details, and deposit details. Let's pause here a little bit and we'll meet in the next class and continue our design of the main interface. Thank you very much.